there guys, my name is The Reaper and in today's video I'm going to be taking a Butcher's at Double Action Boogaloo, which is a very fun title to say in a recording. So for those of you who aren't aware, Taking a Butcher's is basically a series of videos I do which are designed to be kind of halfway between a first impressions and a review series. So for example, if a game crops up on Steam, maybe there's a Steam sale on, so there's a game that's cropped up you don't know a lot about, you think, alright this has caught my eye, looks quite interesting, but I want to know a bit more before I drop any money. These are kind of the videos for you. So the idea is you start watching the video, I kind of explain the basis of the game, uh, sort of any free to play models. So if it's a free to play game, this one isn't in this case, I could explain how that works. I could explain any performance issues or bugs that you may need to be aware of, a bit of gameplay, and just show you how the mechanics work. So hopefully everything you need to know to make an informed decision about whether or not you're going to buy whatever game I choose to take a look at. In this case, we're taking a look at Double Action Boogaloo, which you don't need to worry about buying because it's absolutely free, which is always very nice. This is a really fun, completely free source mod, multiplayer only. And I'm going to do not quite what I normally do, which is I'd normally explain the game a bit more thoroughly beforehand and go through maybe some of the options. In this case, I think it's a better example to kind of show off the game just by jumping straight in. So I'm going to have a brief cut. I'm going to jump right into the game and show you what this is all about. Okay, so we've just jumped into a random server online. So we've got three characters to choose from. You've got Vice, Diesel and 8-Ball. These are purely just cosmetic things you can choose from. Just going to go with 8-Ball, he's my favourite. So you've got your equipment selection screen to get 30 slots in which to assign your weapon. So basically, certain weapons are going to have more slots than others. So the M4, the black magic here, is 20. That'll give me 10 more. So you can choose whatever weapons you like up to that slot limit. So I'm going to go with a Persuader shotgun and two Sentinels as my pistol options going to hit proceed and you also get to choose a style bonus so essentially there's five different to choose from you can choose anyone you like you're not forced into any choice you get marksman it's going to give you better accuracy less recoil better reloading time you've also got next up you've got bouncer which is uh, increased brawl damage you can switch to melee you get this is going to give you increased uh, sort of melee damage and rate of fire and you can run a bit faster which is nice reflexes gets you a uh, longer slow motion time which is nice i'll show you that in a moment that's really good fun nitro feeder that's going to give you an extra grenade and athlete's going to let you run and dive a bit further. So I'm going to go with reflexes, just because it's the most fun for me. So you kind of in third person mode, you can see kind of the source engine graphics. Uh, just kind of looks pretty standard, pretty standard kind of, uh, third person shooter. But you're going to see exactly why this game stands out from quite a few others. See that guy dives back there, that's the point of this game. You can dive around just like this, and the idea is you do not get kills, you get style by diving through the air looking awesome and doing things in slow motion because why wouldn't you so the idea is you can dive around all you like you can kick off walls you can jump through windows and the more points you get is based on how cool your kill was if you do a diving through the air kill like that on the, see on the right hand screen you've got a bunch of dive points slide points and you can activate your slow motion timer if you've racked a few kills up it's going to make it easy to hit your target and you get a bunch of points for doing things in slow motion as well so you can dive all around you like and the idea is, it's not how many kills you get, it's how much score you get. So I've got a few more dive hits there. Trying to rack up a point. You can see I'm on 71 out of 100 for my reflex character. Got five for a slide there. The idea is, if you hit 100, you're going to activate your bonus as well. So in my case, because I've gone with reflexes, if I hit 100, which I do now, because I've got two slide kills there, a bunch of extra points. I've hit 100. I've activated my bonus ability, which gives me an extra three seconds of slow motion. And basically you're going to activate your bonus ability based on what class you've picked. So if, you act, if, you, if I pick the Brawler, my bonus ability gets activated if I hit 100 until I die. And it's going to give me even more damage. Also I have to grab the briefcase. The game is occasionally going to drop on sudden side objective. In this case the briefcase dropped. You have to grab it. <laughs> I've got a really cool side shot going to hit there. Get it back to here. And that's going to activate every bonus there is for every class. So normally I would get a reflex bonus if I hit 100. Because I managed to do the side objective, which was to capture that briefcase, I managed to grab it and deliver it before anyone else can. I got every single bonus there is. So I get a grenade, I get a, uh, faster running speed, longer dives, extra melee damage, faster reload and damage on my weapons. Because I managed to do a side objective, get a load of extra bonuses, slide along, managed to get that guy with a pistol. And basically my weapons go all gold and people are going to want to kill me because I lose those bonuses if I die. But until then, I'm going to be basically a complete badass. Again, just about to run out then. Now they're there, I think. Slide along, hit the shotgun. Again, headshot, bunch of extra style points. Slide my forward dive. See, racked up about 40 odd from that, I think. Basically got taken down. But basically, this game is just 
absolutely free. There's the scoreboard. You can see everything is in style. Currently, I'm winning on style because I managed to get in life. Managed to get in quite a lot of uh, dive and sort of slow mo kills, which is really good fun. That's why I like picking reflex because you just get the extra slow motion. It just makes it a lot of fun. Plus, you get loads of extra points for doing slow mo kills. So you see there, this guy's going for the brawl. You get a bunch of extra bonus points for uh, taking someone down with a brawl kill as well. He went for that as well. Thankfully, he managed to take them both down. Someone else hit the slow mo. Again, I've now hit my super slow mo because I've hit my uh, 100 limit. So I've got my bonus ability. And I've also managed to take that guy down. Yeah, it's kind of like punch me. No, it managed to get away. So basically, that pretty much it's quite a self explanatory game, but it's just endless fun. And again, it's a sort of game you can just jump in, play for 10 minutes, and then jump out again as well if you need to. Again, the guy get, <laughs> guy get the ball kill there. Quite good fun. I think I'll get one a bit later on. But basically, dive around. Slow-mo diving shotgun kill, because why not? Basically what I'm going to do now is I think this game is kind of self-explanatory enough. You don't really need me doing anything else. Got another slide kill, activate the bonus. I think I'm probably just going to leave it at that, so I'd heartily recommend this game. There's a link in the description to the Steam page. It would also be nice to get a few more people playing this, because it kind of, like PvK2, it's one of these source mods that never really got kind of the recognition it could have deserved. So, please, if you get a free chance, it's completely free to play. Really small download. Go on Steam, click the link in the description. Try this game out, it's really good fun, and it's free, you've got nothing really to lose. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But, frankly, I think that might be quite difficult, just seeing how fun this game is, just diving around like an idiot, and taking everyone out. So I'm just going to leave it at that, I'm going to leave the rest of the footage in the game, just kind of, without me talking over it. And hopefully, you can enjoy it as much as I can. And I think I'm going to leave it at that, so thanks very much guys for watching. If you like the video, I'm just going to leave the rest of it as I say. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Other than that, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.